I'm so glad that I ended up picking this because it's super cute. Super, super, super cute. Look at that. Girl, y'all know when I get giddy, <laughs> that means I love the wig. Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel. So today we have a wig that comes to us from The Wig Company. So the name of this wig is Summer Heat. It is a synthetic wig and it has a mono lace front. So this is the box that it came in. It comes in this really nice box um, and inside you get a couple of different goodies. They give you a couple um, different um, informational pieces about the wig telling you this that it's heat safe and how to wash it, how to take care of it, um, some packaging information and um, just like I said a, car, a couple cards and the wig we have is going to be summer heat. Now I have it in this really pretty, um, really pretty color that I picked. Um, absolutely love this color. One thing I like about the wig company, um, this is my first time working with them but um, I like that they have a variety when I say a variety of colors I mean you guys look at this it has all my favorite colors in here um, and it's just blended so well so when I took it out I was really amazed um, as far as this a mono lace this is something different for me it's not a lace front um, it says it's mono lace, but I will tell you guys um, in my pros and cons at the end that I do like it. So again, name of the wig is Summer Heat, and they have it um, in the tag. So what I'm showing you here is you don't get the adjustable straps like we're used to on my channel. You get adjustable Velcro. So in the back, you have that Velcro piece, and then you're going to pull those straps back, and you'll sit them comfortable. You don't get any combs in this as well. So what I did is I went ahead on and I put the wig on, and I just kind of wanted to see how it would sit and how that long, um, mono um, piece would sit up front that mono lace so like I said you don't get combs but they give you some bobby pins I use bobby pins anyway so it like doesn't really um, matter to me but I just mentioned that for you guys let you know and you see it is cut back on the sides um, so if you get natural color you can blend it in so what I end up doing is I was like um, getting it situated I took the part where the um, mono lace is and I pulled that up and then I let the other part just hang down so that it can cover my edges so what I'm gonna do is get strategic for me it really doesn't matter because my edges come out so even when I have like a full lace frontal um, in the front I still always have a little bit of issues um, so what I'm doing is like I said I'm gonna situate the wig really good get it over my edges and then I'm gonna go in um, with some gel and I'm going to put it down down. Now I will tell you this wig fit perfect it fits really really comfortable um, I did have some lifting in the back and I'll explain that also at the end um, that's just because you have to get those straps um, in the back down and get them velcroed so I find it easier to do that when you have the wig on versus doing it before you put the wig on so what I'm using here for my ladies that do not tack your wigs down I am using some bed head you can just get this spray anywhere from Target Walmart or you can order it on Amazon of course and you just get this and you're going to use this to lay down the wig so I'm spraying it around that model lace because I want to see would it act like the normal lace front and it did you guys like this part um, in the front right here it looks so natural so I use my um, small tooth comb and I'm, I'm showing you guys that because I like to use that comb because when I go in with that comb it makes it look like it's coming from my scalp um, usually when I use it with the lace front and it also did the same thing with this model lace so um, I took the spray, sprayed it in the front, and then I took the comb and I kind of combed it from the root up to make it look like it was coming from my scalp. And I love that. What I love about this wig is that I don't have to worry about doing baby hairs in the front or anything. Now I did have to handle the sides, but again, I always have to handle the sides because um, of one, the way the wig was cut, and two, because my sides come out. So as you saw, a literally a quick fix to this was just to take a couple strands of hair um, and lay them down, and I just sprayed them down. Now I think at the end I do go in and put a little bit of gel on them. Just to um, lay them down even more but that's all I did so as I mentioned before this wig is heat safe I want to say I had my flat iron on about 280 you guys um, you could go lower than that because you don't need much I was just trying to take the bump out in the front up there where that mono lace is so what I did is I wanted to lay it down just a little bit flatter so that's why I went ahead on and I used a little bit of heat on there so again I'm giving you a close-up on the other side of me just going in and spraying some 
um, bed head there and laying it down on top of my edges and then like I said just combing it in now you can put it behind your ear or you can leave it down either way it really um, doesn't matter I'm um, like I said I was just doing that so it'll cover my edges so I went in and made a part now when you part this hair you will see that the mono lace is light so what you can do is you can treat it just like any lace front and go in with some of your powder which I'm going to do I'm using some physician formula powder I got this from Dollar Tree you guys can use whatever powder you have and just go ahead on and put it in that parting area to go ahead on and define it so um, I started doing that and then that piece there kept just like falls all over the place so what I did is I put some heat on it so all in all you guys I love this wig for so many reasons please stay tuned for my pros and my cons so you guys can get all the tea on this little gem here Okay, guys, so this is the final look for this wig, and I will tell you that I absolutely love this wig. So let's go ahead on and get into the formalities. If this is your first time catching me on the channel, thank you so much. Thank you guys for clicking the video today and getting the tea on this wig. So I bring videos a couple times a week, and if you love wigs, girl, you want to be over here on this channel. So go ahead on, after watching this video, look around. I have wigs over here for naturals, for... Um, if you like blondes, if you like dark colors, whatever you like, braids, I have all kind of wigs over here and other content as well. So if you guys have not, like I said, after watching this video, girl, go ahead on, look around the channel, subscribe, hit the bell and all, and you'll be notified every time I upload. So the wig we have today, I'm, I'm super excited about this. And I'm just going to go ahead on and say it. Over here on my channel, you get the real, real. I was contacted by this wig, by this company, which is the wig company, and I started looking around on their channel, and I thought, I mean, on their website, and I started thinking, what, what, what wig am I going to pick? What, 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 what am I going to do with this? And I seen this little wig and thought, this wig will be perfect. She's fall approved. She's short. She's fun. She's flirty. She gives the colors that I love. I love me some reds. I love me some blondes. I love me a decent hairline. You get all this with this wig. But this mono lace front is perfect. It gives you just enough lace. You don't have to cut the lace off and you don't have to really do anything to the lace in order for it to look natural around the hairline. So although I love the wig, I'm going to always give you guys pros and cons. Even if the video is sponsored, I still keep it real and we're going to keep it real here today. So pros and cons for this. Cons. I only really have two small cons when it comes to this. You don't get adjustable straps in the back. The way they have theirs, you get adjustable Velcro. So that Velcro, you will have to adjust it. I find it easier to adjust it once you put the wig on, then pull it in so that way you know where it sits. The second con for my ladies that wear wigs a lot, you do not get combs in this wig. So if you are someone who likes combs or something like that, you don't get combs. However, they did supply you with bobby pins, so you can go ahead and put bobby pins in. Now, when I wear my wigs, most of the time I do not use the combs, even if it comes with combs, because it will pull out your hair on your edges over time, and you will start to get thinning, okay? So I usually use bobby pins, so it's okay for me. I mention these things because these are things for other people. The next thing is the mono lace front if you're used to synthetic wigs that have like a 13 by 4 or 13 by 5 you technically don't get this to me this is more like i don't know what a two by two or four by four or something like that up in here so that's what you're going to get next thing is you don't have to cut it off i think that that's a pro some people may want to cut it off i think it's a pro because you look how nice that hairline looks you get just enough to make the hairline looks look real and you don't have to really worry about the size So the next um con is going to be some of it You don't get lace on the sides for those who like their lace. I'm okay with that y'all see how I remedied it I just pull a little bit of hair down The wig is full enough. You don't even notice it. You don't notice that you don't have lace on that side Um, and that's pretty much it when it comes to cons. So pros to this you guys is going to be this color, this color, this length, the way that this wig is cut. They did an excellent job at cutting this wig. This wig you get layered. So if you want to go in here and you want to um, put some curls and like layer it up if you're going out, you're able to do that as well. I love the highlights in here. I love the low lights in here. I just love how they blended this color. I'm so glad that I picked it. So I told you guys the color of this wig. The color of this wig is going to be 
F394 and it's just it's a beautiful wig it's very pretty if you want to pull it up in the front you can or if you want to clamp it back like this you can also do something like that with it because like I said the hairline on this look good which leads me to the next thing it is heat safe I did go in and flatten it just a little bit you don't have to put too much heat on it I put 280 you may want to go under that you may want to go like 200 because you don't need much in order to get this wig to look the way that you want it to look put curls in it I would do the same thing I would just go in and I would just put a couple curls in it under low heat hold it there with maybe your hand for a little bit and then let it out and then you can get some curls in this me so as far as the parting area is concerned for those who want to see their parting area you can go in with a little bit of your powder so if you use powder foundation or if you if you don't use powder foundation you can go to like Dollar Tree or something and get the physician's formula this is what I use on my um, lace front so I went ahead and used this on this mono lace and I just put a little bit here you can put it around the hairline and that's for my ladies that need to add a little bit of melon to it to tint it just a little bit just go ahead on and use your makeup brush and just put a little bit on there and you can go ahead on and tint it so that when you lay it down now I'll tell you guys I did not have to do that around the hairline as you guys can see I didn't have to do that around the hairline I just did it in a parting area because once I parted it I saw that the lace was was white so if you're a lighter complexion it'll be okay you know for you to leave it that way thank you guys to the wig company for reaching out to me um and for collabing with me today I can't wait to work with you guys again and I love that you guys have an array of colors over there it's it, this wig is just beautiful okay it's absolutely beautiful thank you to my returning subscribers and my YouTube babes for coming back and checking me out let me know what you guys think do you like the like the color um let me know what you guys think of their site go over take a peek at their site see if it's something you might be interested in go ahead and leave that in the comment section below have you ordered from this company before if you have leave that in the comment section below so if you guys decide to share this video or any of my videos on your social media platform you know the deal instagram twitter facebook or tiktok don't forget to tag me in it. I want to know. My name is Beauty Mark. I will see you ladies and gentlemen in my next video. Bye.